Just in time for Pride Month, the Supreme Court is tackling the petition to allow same-sex marriages in the country. We bring in Dale Devera over to the Supreme Court to talk us through the oral arguments today. Dale, uh, we hear it was Attorney Jesus Falsis who opened the oral arguments today. What were the main points that he raised before the High Court? And a liberal uh, interpretation of the Articles 1 and 2 of the Family Code is uh, what they are asking. Um, Attorney Falsi said that with this interpretation, uh, the LGBT couples or members of the lesbians, uh, gays, bisexuals, and transgender communities are extended the right to marry, which is justified under the um, doctrine of constitutional supremacy. And uh, Attorney Falsi also said that given the infringement of a fundamental right under uh, the Articles 1 and 2 of the Family Code, uh, it is uh, also presumed as unconstitutional. Uh, Falsis uh, pointed out three things that makes uh, this provision uh, unconstitutional. Those are that one, it, uh, it deprives the petitioners the right to marry without substantive due process. Two, it denies the petitioners of the equal protection of the laws. And three, it violates the religious uh, freedom of uh, petitioners. Ed? Well, Dela, uh, this comes at a timely moment for the Supreme Court to tackle, but were there any reservations made by the justices during the deliberations? And uh, Justice Marvick Leonin said that uh, this decision of the Supreme Court might be very, uh, might be dangerous for uh, the next uh, generation as uh, there would still be a lot of uh, fine-tuning or a lot of uh, reviewing that needs to be done uh, in terms of uh, the Constitution. And um, he said that the political infrastructure, uh, infrastructure of, the com uh, of the country may not yet be ready for this kind of uh, development. Ed? Okay, Dale. With the way the arguments went, uh, did any of the, ju any of the justices uh, give any hints on uh, whether they will consider the request of the petitioner? And only Justice uh, Francis Hardelesa uh, uh, said that he is inclined to uh, dismiss uh, the petition, while all uh, while include while Justice Estela uh, Perlas Bernabe and Justice uh, uh, Justice uh, Bersamin Lucas said uh, that uh, well, all three justices uh, agreed that uh, the petition should st should have started at. Uh, the regional trial courts and not uh, with the Supreme Court. Ed? And that was Dale Devera reporting live from the Supreme Court in Manila.